Hello everyone, welcome to Cord QA meeting which is happening on February 1st, 2018. Uh, so today's agenda is just to go over some of the bugs that we haven't screened since the last bug scrub meeting and then decide whether they are required for the release or not. And also, I uh, would also like to discuss about the RC build, given that we have some, pro we found a few bugs yesterday, two bugs yesterday, and we want to see what is the plan and how we want to uh, build and when we want to build the RC, uh, RC build. Um, so here on my screen, I have the bugs uh, from the SC release and I filtered based on the created here. So there are a couple bugs that we can go through until Jan 19 and I think all before all uh, below these we have already screened them. So let's go over the high priority bugs. Um, uh, can we just leave the medium priority? And since Scott is here, maybe maybe we can ask if this is uh, important or not. Twenty six eighteen eight eight zero, Scott. Uh, Twenty six eighty. That is not important. Oh. Um, that's just an error message issue, not a blocker. Okay, thank you. Um, this is the one I the twenty six seventy nine is the one which I opened yesterday. Jono investigated this on the flex pod. Um, then we lose the external connectivity because we do not see the host entries and Scott also investigated this. Uh, Jono already provided a fix and I triggered a bill last night but unfortunately it didn't go through because we had the router issue and I re rebuilt the pod again. So we'll wait and see uh, how this goes and I'll update you all. So that's taken care. Um, the next one I'm skipping that because it's medium. Is that okay, Scott? Twenty six seventy eight. Uh, twenty six seventy eight. Um, if I delete a model of option, remove the relation on the relator. Yeah, this is a bug that Mateo found yesterday. Um, I, I wish Mateo was here to to speak about the significance of it. Is, are you there, Mateo? Um. My thought is that I would not mark this a release blocker, um, though it is affecting the program service that Mateo was working on, though I think he does have a viable workaround for now. So I don't think it is, I don't think it's blocking anything, but it, it should be a priority for as soon as we have time. Okay, so then we'll leave it as is then. So moving on to the next one, 2677, this is the one which Zach fixed yesterday. And I think we yes, need to... I, uh, I marked it. I, I didn't update my JIRA. Sorry. No worries. Uh, anyway, we have to verify this bug. So we'll keep you posted if everything goes well. Sounds good. Thanks. All right. And the next one is Matthews. I'm not sure if this is important. I was looking at this yesterday and I wasn't sure. Maybe Scott yes, or someone can. Uh, 2670. Uh, yeah, that's another one that Matteo discovered while working on the program service. Um, that one would be nice to fix, but I don't know that we have time to fix it before release. Um, so I, I don't think I would make that um, critical either. Okay. Do we have a workaround for this or when is this through UI or when does this happen? Yeah, so this happens, um, what happens is some of the services, they set um, a default owner in their initializer and this was causing the default owner in the base class to change, uh, which was causing any service that did not set a default owner to get someone else's default owner. So Mateo did, I believe come up with a workaround for this um, by setting his owner in the uh, save method for program service. Mm -hmm. um, but it, again, it's it's you know the both of these are are uh, hacks. They're not they're they're not uh, general bug fixes. So we we've, we've got workarounds in place, but this needs to be revisited when there's time to uh, find the root cause and come up with a solution. Oh, okay. So he already put it up. Okay. So, just 
the next 2637 this is from charles owners does not order uh, sorry does not honor broadcast flag so i'm just leaving, uh, let me check with uh, charles and pierre on these offline if these are important or not i think the same is the case with the second uh, the other one and 2601 kailash is this important um yeah i didn't upgrade this year um so uh, i just discussed this with uh, the excess devs last week and um uh oh, this I'm, trying, is one. I'm trying to recall um yeah so if you make um a request without um so if you're not the owner of the models the get request will not return um those objects if you're not old owner of it but instead it returns an empty list which if i recall correctly scott you said that is the correct behavior um, um well i think it's behavior we have to we have to decide what our security models so we have to decide if that's correct or not the behavior to date has been that you cannot see objects that you don't have permission to see mm -hmm. um, and, and so a user who hasn't authenticated um, lacks permission to see most things so they get lots of empty lists um, we could decide that the correct behavior is that everyone needs to be authenticated that would not be an unreasonable change to the existing system but I, I think it needs some discussion to decide which of those behaviors is appropriate right right um and i'm not sure i can't remember which priority i put on this but does it sound like it's a high priority correct i put it on medium so yeah. um does that seem appropriate the priority of it yeah i think for me it feels fine yeah and it's not bro blocker as well so i think we can move on then okay yeah all right thanks kalash So this is for Zach, twenty five nine nine. That's done and removed. I uh, okay. It, it should show up and done when you reload. All right. Uh, twenty five eight one. I will ask Charles. Let me check. I think we have other books. Twenty five seven nine. Confirm that we are doing the correct Docker compile. Uh, gotcha. Scott can correct me on this on 2579, but I think we made that transition to um, this is the thing for the R chord synchronizer, profile synchronizer, that we uh, force it not to restart continuously. I think we've made this. Yeah, that, that's been done. Okay, so I'll mark this as I'll assign it to you and complete it, Scott. Sounds good. Oh, that's nice. I, I don't know if, if I created another item for that. Hopefully, I did attach the patch that to your item and not a duplicate um yeah i'll yeah. i'll link it up i'll find where it is in jira and move it around thanks okay thanks okay thank you uh, 2561 um i haven't gotten a chance to look at um but i'm not sure that that's um something we have to get done by release it'd be nice but i don't think we'll have it for release oh okay Unless I get around to it quickly, do, Scott, do you think that that should get dealt with? Um, it would be nice because then we would not have lost any um, e chord features from four point one to five point zero. But uh, it's it's not blocking anyone because no one's using it right now, so um, it doesn't seem critical to me. Okay, I'll put it on the back burner, and if I get to it, I'll get to it. So we we'll leave the priority as is, right? That's yeah. Good. Okay. Okay. I think these are the only bugs. Uh, the yes, from sixteenth, uh, we have already gone through all the other bugs. So we don't have any new to the blockers. I think I should make this one as a blocker, as well, uh, which we already fixed by Jono, and we are we will be testing it. Okay, um, so the other question is, are there any other, sorry, any other bugs before we move on that we need to discuss? Okay, 
so and uh, what do we do because we end at the end of the week on friday we were thinking to release the r i mean build the rc so can we wait on this for next week how long do you think that's going to take Sujitra? um do you think it'll be ready by monday is this something that runs over the weekend or is it going to take multiple days into next week no, I think it should be fine. It's just that we have to make sure that these two bugs, which we fixed yesterday, uh, we are able to build the pod successfully. And then I think by end of tomorrow, we will know the status. And then uh, from, yeah, by if hopefully if we can get the status by end of tomorrow without any issues, then we can build. But otherwise, then I was thinking like it's better we wait until Monday. Is that okay? Um, I think that's fine. Andy, do you have an opinion? Yeah, I, I think that's okay. If we do it beginning of next week, it's probably fine. I'm just wondering if, you know, we could do it in parallel, like cut the RC tomorrow and then, um, but I, I don't think it, it, it's, there's no problem in waiting a couple of days. So why not we do this then? We will try to verify these two bugs by end of today. Hopefully, if we are able to build the pods, and then we can do it parallelly, as you said. And by the time we we are anyway testing until end of the week. That that works for me. So we would know by mostly end of today if the pods are built successfully. And we would run our sanity test as well. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. I like that plan. Okay. Yeah, that's assuming we don't have any issues. So then we'll update you then uh, how it goes. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. I think from QA side, we do not have any other items. Um, if anyone else has anything else to talk about. Okay, then we are done with the meeting. Thanks. Okay, thanks, Sujita. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the support and uh, helping us fix all the bugs and helping us verify and uh, debug as well. Thank you. All right, see you guys.